Hey Cave Nation, welcome to another episode of Caveman Cooking. I'm Stefan Barr. Today I'm going to show you a tomato and chorizo salad. It's going to be a fantastic side dish for any meal. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a little heat on this pan and put a nice big glob of olive oil in there. I'm talking about an inch or two, maybe about an inch on the bottom because we're going to fry chorizo in this olive oil. And while that's going, we're going to prep our tomatoes. So I got some nice tomatoes that I picked up at the market. You can really use any type, type of tomato that you'd like. And this is just a, a rustic farmer salad, so it's a rough chop. So any which way you want to chop the tomatoes is fine. Got some little cherry tomatoes that are going to add some nice color to the, to the other tomatoes we got. So just take these again, nice little rough chop. Put these right in our bowl. Then we've got some nice finely sliced shallots. We're going to put those right into our tomato mixture. And some fresh chopped parsley. Going to do a pinch of salt. Couple turns of our pepper mill, fresh cracked black pepper. Then a couple splashes of sherry wine vinegar. This is a little bit of a cheat, I know, but uh, it's a great little flavor. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a stir, let these flavors all start to meld and come together. So we've got some nice Spanish chorizo here. So the oil in our pan is starting to shimmer. We can slowly add our chorizo, just be careful so it doesn't splatter. And let that chorizo start to fry up. Now you want to keep the meat on, on about uh, medium to medium high. Just give this a stir every little, every little once in a while. It'll probably take about 7-8 minutes until it's nice and crispy. And then uh, we'll add it to our salad. Alright, so our, our chorizo is nice and crispy. Okay, we're just about done. So I've got some fresh garlic that I've sliced up here that I'm going to add right to our pan. Okay, and this thing is going to add this flavor or take it to the next level. So we want to add our sliced garlic. Now you have to watch this because you don't want it to burn. Okay, so you've got to leave this on for about uh, no more than a minute. And just look at the garlic and make sure that it's not turning too brown. So if it gets too brown, it's burnt and it's going to be bitter. So just keep a good eye on it. There we have it, the chorizo tomato salad.